Nowadays, next to 4K, HDR is probably the most important TV technology there is. But what is HDR? And which standard is the best? Besides being able to play back 4K Ultra HD content, HDR is one of the most advertised features of a new TV right now. Today we're going to take a look at the different HDR standards and find out which ones you really need. HDR stands for High Dynamic Range and is currently the ultimate upgrade for video content. The opposite term is called SDR, which stands for Standard Dynamic Range. The main reason why HDR is better than SDR is the fact that it offers an extended brightness range of up to 4 times that of SDR, plus it also has an extended color depth of 10 instead of 8 bits. 8 bit color depth can deliver 16.77 million possible colors, while 10 bit is capable of over 1 billion color tones. This means that with HDR content, light image areas are displayed much lighter and dark image areas are displayed even darker. Besides that, thanks to the extended color depth, more color nuances can be displayed with more precise gradations within the brightness range. This results in a much more realistic and deeper image representation. The four most common HDR standards are HDR10, Dolby Vision, HDR10 Plus and HLG. All four formats basically do the same thing, namely improving color depth and contrast. The main difference between these formats is how they use metadata. The most widely spread technology is HDR10, which stands for High Dynamic Range with a 10-bit color depth. HDR10 is open source and supported by almost every manufacturer and streaming service. Even though HDR10 is a huge step up from SDR, it is still slightly held back in performance due to the fact that it uses static metadata. HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision use dynamic metadata which can adjust the HDR on a scene-to-scene -scene basis. Whereas with static metadata, the high dynamic range is fixed for the entire film or episode. I'm sure you all know Dolby, since they are very well known for their audio technologies. The HDR technology Dolby Vision was originally developed to bring HDR content to Dolby Atmos cinemas. Nowadays, this premium version of HDR is also available at home. The big advantage over HDR10 is that Dolby Vision can handle dynamic metadata. This allows for an individual image optimization for every scene or every frame. The brightness ceiling of Dolby Vision is also up to 4 times higher than that with HDR10. For the use of this standard, however, Dolby requires a fee from manufacturers and providers. Still, most manufacturers, except for Samsung, offer Dolby Vision compatibility. Instead of using the Dolby standard, Samsung has released its own version of HDR with dynamic metadata and calls it HDR10+. Unlike Dolby Vision, Samsung does not require a license fee for its version of HDR and quality-wise there does not seem to be a lot of difference between the two. However, due to the fact that this is a Samsung format, some of its direct competitors are still hesitant to implement it into their own line. Currently, Philips, Panasonic, Hisense and TCL have HDR10 Plus compatible models within their range. Unlike Samsung, however, some of these models also support Dolby Vision. Hybrid Log Gamma, or HLG for short, was developed by Japanese broadcaster NHK and Britain's BBC. HLG enables TV broadcasts or even live broadcasts to be displayed in better picture quality. Instead of using metadata, HLG uses a logarithmic curve to provide additional contrast. Although not quite on par, it still comes close to the image quality of HDR10. Besides that, it has the advantage of being compatible with TVs that do not support HDR. HLG content is still limited, but there's widespread TV support and even YouTube is on board. If you're currently shopping for a new TV, you have probably noticed that most TVs are labeled as HDR compatible. Just be aware that the general specification HDR only states that an HDR image signal can be reproduced without interference. 
Only really good LEDs can achieve a peak brightness of 1000 nits. Some of the QLED models can even do 2000 nits. OLED TVs remain behind in brightness, but can achieve first class black values thanks to their self-luminous pixels. Most of the more budget friendly HDR compatible TVs are only slightly brighter or have little more contrast than conventional TVs without HDR. And your best bet to get a high quality HDR image is with a good QLED or OLED TV. Which one of these HDR formats looks the best will largely depend on your TV's performance and the content itself. Theoretically however, Dolby Vision should have a slight edge. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you!